All right, today we're at MD Wan, uh, return visit. We were here about three months ago and had a very good episode. Uh, Mr. Wan wasn't here that day, so he has graciously invited us to come back and do the factory tour and, and learn more about the company and, and what's behind the company, the people of MD Wan. And so, sir, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. Okay, thank you. And uh, this table has got to be the coolest thing I've ever seen. Is this one of your products? Yes. Oh, you can, it is. Yeah, you can order from MD1 the Jeep office table. <laughs> nice. Back it up, put it in the box, and ship it out. Okay, great. Thank you, sir. This is the stamping area. Okay. So what we're very proud of our our machine presses. So the biggest among all our presses is this uh, hydraulic 1,200 ton press. I call it Sunny Boy. Named it after my dad. And we press the floorings here, the fenders, the hoods, the split rims. All the big parts uh, gets pressed here. These uh, machine parts, what are they? Uh, these are the toolings. Uh, so the different dies and molds for different parts. Like, see, M38 grill plate is here, trimming side. M38 dashboard instrument panel is here. Uh, CJ rear flooring, all, all the tools and dies are, are, are stacked here. This is right now the stamping machine, and obviously it's, it's a combat rim. Yeah, we also call it the split rim because it's a uh, it uh, has two sides and you put it together and it's, you, know, you can split it up. So we make this for the MD and the GPW. Well, this might be a question for Jaime, but this metal, it says, how does this metal here uh, compare to what the original 3.2 millimeter thickness? And that's what the original teaches. Yeah, the, the, the thickness is the same. But actually, the metal that we use is better. Okay, good. Because uh, we used galvanil. Galvanil is galvanized annealed metal. Okay. So it's basically corrosion resistant. So it's not like the, the mild steel that, that uh, they usually use before, that, that uh, rusts easily. This doesn't rust at all. This is a cowl, a top cowl, can be grill parts. Uh, this is the MD grill. Uh, before press it out from there. So this. For the MBGPW. It's come out of the stamper, yeah. stamping machine. And again, this is... It's about really thick. Uh, 1.2. Uh, 1.2 millimeters. Is this... Um, this is galvanized as well. Okay, that's the question. It's yeah. galvanized, uh, uh, galvanized um, anneal metal. So it's okay. basically corrosion-free as well. So this is our... our uh, our most important baby now, you know, it's our most uh, uh, advanced equipment. So it uses a computer to cut the metal uh, very accurately. As you can see here, we're cutting a dashboard. So this is a CJ7 dashboard. And we'll show you how it works. Uh, we have to close the door and then you can see how it works. You can do it. As you can see, 
this not only makes it accurate, it also has less weight. Yeah. Because you know we we maximize all the metal, uh, the metal. Uh, so you so you see uh, sometimes we use we make multiple parts with just one sheet. What is this area? Where are we at now? So this is the assembly area. Okay. So after they do all the pressing, we brought, we bring all the parts in the working process to the area. Okay. And then they withdraw the parts there, and then they assemble. So everything gets assembled in this line. So when we, we have several models in this line. So Electro-deposition coating area. So basically, we have the, the rinsing and then the phosphating. Rinse, rinse, phosphating. This is why we have the, our new equipment. All tubs, all tubs. This is uh, what you use, they call it the lunette eye, and in the World War II trailer, it's the one that attaches to the pindle hook. Right, yeah, this is a, this is a cast part? Yeah, that's cast, a cast metal. part. Okay. And it's, only a, it's only a two ton trailer, but this the capacity is five tons. Yeah, that's connect here. Connect there. Oh yeah, connect there and then onto the pindle hook. And then onto the pindle hook at the back of the machine. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, to, make them, to make them all, the MPC, uh, are there different models famous? Yeah, there's a, there's a 1km38, D1, and 38 and 38 Even for the CJ. How about the body machine? Oh, I mean, uh, the trailer frame. body. We make them as well. Okay, one. Uh, these are all where the crates are, and I'll, I'll show you how we crate up the body. Oh, man. So this is a Jeep in a crate, circa 2022. So this is how we create the Jeep now. And of course, it has metal also. Uh, we use processed wood so that it doesn't have any bugs, so that it doesn't have to go through a fumigation. As you can see, the design of these crates, they have uh, uh, forklift bolts on all sides. So it's, it's easier it's easier for the, for the customer to unload it and uh, put it in their warehouse and pull it out and you can open it up. So, very well protected with metal and wood. We make our own boxes. So this is our boxing area. So even the, even our packaging material, some of our parts are wrapped in this uh, very sturdy sleaze wrapping that we call it. It's like, it's like leather. So this is how we wrap our uh, bumpers. As you can see, uh, the sleeve wrapping is there, and then the plastic wrapper, and then it's all sturdy, uh, strapped in. The building uh, wrapping area. How we load up the container. Basically, we always uh, we fill up a 40 foot container like this. Um, usually, we still put parts on top 
and we squeeze it all in until the cockroach doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> because with the shipping yeah. cost right now, yeah. it's exorbitant, uh, exorbitantly high. So we have to maximize all our containers. So this, all this is going to a distributor? Yes. Okay, so like from LA a distributor yes. or somewhere. Yeah. I mean, he would have some, he would keep in stock and some that people have already ordered. Yes. Okay. So these are our original subs. We have one for an M151 month. And this is an original. Straight from Angeles. Straight from Angeles. This is an original MB uh, tub, a uh, GPW tub, and an MB tub. Can you use this for reference? We use it sure. for reference to make sure that the holes are the same and all the parts are, are fit right. Okay, so this is my Jeep. Uh, it's a it's a it's a JK, and uh, we make the bumpers for it. So this is a MB1 bumper. So we're we're moving on to the more modern Jeeps. We're making accessories for them. It's a it's a wider market. So not only did we make this, we also made the sidebars and the, yeah, our branded platform. So we made everything. We made the rear bumpers, the front bumpers, and the sidebar and step board. And the brand for this is Black Bull. So that's our very own brand. It's registered and trademarked under MD1, the Black Bull brand. Okay, so we have here an MB. So this is a 100% MD1 body top MB. I just wanted to show you the, the genius of the design of the MB. Right, so it's very utilitarian. It's it's quite a small vehicle for the biggest vehicle. So they have like um, they have handles here, so that if you go on a ditch, a guy like Conan can just carry it out. You know, four four big GIs can carry it out. Four DR5. Four DR5. Yeah. So that's DR5. So you And then of course all Jeep enthusiasts know this. But you know, maybe, can you go to the other side? Uh, hi, Matthew. That's See? So, opens up, instant air conditioner, right? So, and then, see, they didn't need motors. It's hand powered, hand powered wipers. So, really, really great design. So, yeah, if you lift this up, this is where they put the decontamination unit, you know, because when you, they get the mustard gas, they use the spray to decontaminate everything so they can sit on it again. If you look at this, this is where they have the, the pump, so they put the, the tire pump here. So everything is utilitarian, everything has a purpose, the toolbox is here. So everything, the data plates are here, and here we have the Pioneer tool, the Action Shovel. Okay, so no Jeep, no MB Jeep is, co is complete without it. So everybody has to have the Action Shovel. These are unidirectional wheels, and it has the, the split rims. And the split rims is uh, specifically for the World War II Jeep. So we make the split rims here as well. So they say before during World War II, if uh, they get a flat tire, they open up the split rim and just they put hay inside, and then you can use it again. <laughs> How smart is that? Electric yeah. So recently we dabbled into electric vehicles, and these are the our, our prototypes for electric jeeps. Thank you for hosting us today. Uh, the tour was so interesting. Uh, just some things that amaze me and learn so much, and I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much, Randy, and uh, you guys were great, and uh, you're always welcome to visit. And as a token of our appreciation for visiting us as well, let me present oh, wow. to you our official uh, coffee table book, Jeep Me Juan. So translate thank it you. into... In English, it kind of means the people's Jeep. People's Jeep. So, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very, thank you very much. much.